Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli. A uh, few weeks ago, uh, Elon Musk was on 60 Minutes in a very interesting interview. And one of the questions was, is Tesla planning to take some or all of the GM factories that are going to be closed in Ohio and Baltimore and other places? And Elon Musk nodded his head and he basically said, you know, maybe we'll see, look into it. Uh, just for reference, the Tesla factory where the Model 3s and S's are made is in California, in Fremont, California. And it used to be a GM slash Toyota um, a factory that was taken over by uh, Tesla later on. Uh, and Mary Barra, Mary Barra, the... Um, CEO of uh, GM, who, who announced the closing of these factories in the United States, uh, mentioned uh, yesterday that uh, the, it's most most likely that Tesla will not take over these factories because uh, the workforce, the GM workforce that works in this factory is under a union. And as you know, the uh, Tesla workers are not unionized. There was a lot, a big push by the UAW, the United Auto Workers, to try to unionize the, uh, the Tesla workers for without success so far. And uh, when Tesla was asked for a comment, they declined to comment, which leads me and others to believe that uh, Tesla is not going to take these factories. Now, just mind you that when Tesla took the factory in California in 2010, they managed to, to, to gain some of these uh, uh, workers without uh, forming or reforming uh, a union. So is this possible that it will happen now? I don't know. We know that uh, John Kasich, the governor of Ohio, uh, on a tweet, uh, formally invited uh, Elon Musk to, do, to buy uh, that factory in Ohio and to uh, and to gain the best most skilled workers and if a union is the issue that comes between them then i don't know i mean i don't want to get into labor to labor laws and labor practice but it is interesting to see that if if tesla decide not to do it will that be because of that reason because uh they are going to have to uh have these union workers under a union. I, it's hard for me to see the connection. I mean, they buy, they're buying a building and they're going to retrofit it anyway to whatever it is that they're going to do there, batteries or cars or whatever. And then they can hire whoever they want just like the way they did in California. So I don't know, I'm not a, a, a legal expertise in labor law, but um, it's very interesting to see. I, I was really hoping uh, and now it's actually actually would be very ironic if uh, Tesla would take GM workers to make um, uh, electric cars. That would be interesting, but that's another story. So from what I know now, it looks like they are not going to take over these factors, but we'll see what happens. Maybe maybe they will eventually. Let me know if you know anything um, uh, uh, else about it. Just worth mentioning that the factory in Fremont was. Uh, bought for uh, 42 million dollars by Tesla. I think it paid off for itself, and they, the unionized workers did part, did join <coughs> with that without the union. Anyway, so that's that. Let me know if you have any new information, anything that you find out that I don't know. That'd be great. Thank you guys. Thank you. Please subscribe. Help me change the world by electric at the time, and I'll see you tomorrow with another episode.